The Netherlands is a country about a third the size of Iowa, but that small country has left a very big imprint on this state. Tonight, KTIV's Larry Wentz explains how the communities of Orange City, Hospers, and Pella, Iowa all share a very Dutch connection. So Henry Hospers, he settled in Pella, Iowa at the very beginning. He was only 17 years old, and he and a few others decided they wanted to make a new Dutch colony. It was really supposed to be near Cherokee, Iowa. Somebody had beat them to it. Sarah Heiser is among the many volunteers who have helped revamp this space into the Dutch Heritage Museum. In 1870, Hospers and the first settlers moved to what would become Orange City, named for Dutchman William of Orange, who invaded England to become its king. Orange City's early growth was stymied by continued invasions of locusts. They ate everything in sight. They ate your clothes if they landed on you. It wasn't until 1936 that the idea of a Tula festival similar to Pella's took place, a one-day festival. Today's colorful Dutch costumes are a far cry from those first worn in 1936. They really considered themselves to be Dutch Americans first. So they weren't walking around or, or keeping all that Dutch clothing. It was a contest in 1937 that spurred the creation of these still much simpler looking costumes. And, and they are award winning costumes. Now they would not pass as authentic Dutch clothing. <laughs> Through the years, the costumes have grown in creativity many representing specific areas of the home country. I think at one time there were over 200 uh, uh, provincial clothing varieties in the in the whole country of the Netherlands. Those hats are pa hand painted um, on black fabric and then you put that on your fabric. So you make a design using nail heads. That's some amazing artistry. Now the Dutch American Heritage Museum and its annex of Dutch military memorabilia is open from 10 until 6 Saturday. There is a $5 entrance fee for adults. Now, by the way, Sarah told me an interesting historical fact about early Orange City. Did you know that at one time there was not one, not two, not three, nor four, but five saloons in the community? Larry Wentz, KTIV News 4.